can see it now, but you will. They no noise. <laughs>
temperatures low. T t drops down like 190, 189, and shit like that. I even saw 179 at one point. Now, I don't like rolling that cold because Hemi's need, uh, they're tuned the way they are to function around 200, 210 degrees. Timing concerns, uh, catalytic converter operation. All kinds of stuff is tuned to a warmer running motor. Now, the car knows it's going to be running that warm. It's designed. Everything's in place already. I don't like cold cars because the timing tends to be retarded. I've been rolling with this 180 thermostat for a day or two now. And the car is just driving beautifully, right? I like the way it feels. It feels a little quicker and more responsive running at 190 degrees rather than 205 209 what i had that before now i don't know if that's just me or if it's real i have to do some sort of test with numbers to find out but but that said cars running great temperatures i can't i i, I gunned it i got on the freeway today got up to like 110 you know it was wide open nobody around close course nobody around close course and got up to like 110 gunning it i mean hard full throttle Got up to like 207 and then quickly dipped right back down into the 190s. I said, okay, that's fine. We're good. We got the problem solved, right? So I think. Open, pop the hood when I stop, you know, let this car cool off. Open the hood. There's a big fat puddle of, looks gotta be coolant down right in front of the right side, the passenger side front wheel. There's a puddle down there. Now, I didn't lose any fluid when I did the thermostat swap. I mean, pretty much nothing at all. So, I'm thinking, well, I did, side note, I did notice that my leak might have been coming from the upper radiator hose where it goes into the radiator. My clamp was kind of loose. I went in there and tightened it up when I did the thermostat. I saw the little streaks of the dried coolant coming from that area. So, I said, okay, we're good. I tightened it up real good. Got a serious, a serious clamp on there. Shouldn't be a problem. Not no bullshit clamp. Not no screw and the little the, the, the little teeth and a little corkscrew. Th none of that bullshit. I got a real serious clamp on that radiator, upper radiator hose, I guess. But it comes loose sometimes. It's got a lot nut on it. But needless to say, I tighten it way down. I touch around it. I don't feel anything coming from that area. I put my hand on it when it was running. When it's off, there is no wet fluid around the upper radiator hose. I still have this puddle down in the plastic dust shield, under shield. It's found a crevice and made a puddle of fluid. Is this fluid that had always been there that I never saw? Anyway, I go for another drive. Fluid's gone. Uh, I guess I shook it out. You know, I tried to do some hard stops, some turns, whatever, to get it sloshed out of there. So it's pretty much gone. The fluid level is staying the same inside the expansion tank. But I got a Mishimoto aluminum radiator. I put in when my fan exploded a couple years ago and busted the old radiator. Got the Dorman uh, OE Fix fans in there. Brushless motor, turns good, everything, they're working fine. That aluminum radiator might be leaking. Now, my Jeep, my Grand Cherokee SRT8, I also had a Karma Racing aluminum radiator in that, and that one sprung a leak also. And it was near the upper radiator, well, yeah, the upper radiator hose inlet on the passenger side at the top. There was a little tiny pinhole leak in there. We found it at a, I took it to a radiator shop and had them submerge it in water, fill it with air, submerge it in water, look for bubbles. We found bubbles. So anyway, they took care of me, sent that one back. I still haven't put it in the Jeep yet. I got a stock radiator in there now. It's working good. So I'm like, do I feel like going through this radiator swap again? No, I don't. So it's sitting in a box. I'll put it in my leisure. But now I'm worried about the radiator in the 300. Is that one leaking too? Do aluminum radiators all form leaks? I mean, damn, that's why I bought aluminum radiators because they're all welded, no plastic, should be no leak. But I'm starting to think they all leak. Um, I don't know. If you got some information, if you got some experience with aluminum radiators, 
drop me a chat or something. Inbox me. Holler at me. Let me know what you're doing about it, how it's worked out for you. You've had an aluminum radiator, never had a leak. Let me know. I want to know about it. Just holler at me on that one because I do not feel like doing another radiator swap on this car. I will do it. But 300, I got to pull the front bumper off. Don't feel like going through all that. I can do the Jeep in my sleep now, but it is what it is. Get at me. Thank you.